It's heartening to see so many strange new faces here today. I know my mom would be very touched and probably a little suspicious. My definition of horror is anything that makes someone look behind them and really realize what it means to be alive. Whoa, that's a very good answer. <laughs> it's grandma. You know you were her favorite, right? Even when you are a little baby, she wouldn't let me feed you because she needed to feed you. The whole process is sort of unique in its own, I mean, it's its own thing, so uh, it's hard to say, like, what's unique and what's not. I mean, I found it to be unique in every way. Like, we got to Utah, and Millie and I did a lot of different things um, for our characters together. We'd go on these... Um, journeys around Utah in character where Ari gave us these tasks to walk around Utah and do all these things. So I mean, that is automatically, I mean, you start to develop these feelings you have, these uh, resentments, uh, just because, oh my God, she just embarrassed me in front of this person. She just, uh, just hold my hand and cross the goddamn street. Like there's all these things. And when you have all that, automatically it starts to be like you have a history. <laughs> The one thing that I say, I would say is somewhat unique, only in that I don't think I've ever really worked in this way before. It was so intensely emotional that rather than kind of, you know, as a younger actor, I kind of think I really used to love the grit and like the more intense, the better. And I just, I'm not into that at all anymore. And I think that it had such strength and spoke to me in such an intense way that it was more a case of really trying to avoid what I had to do until they called action. It really, uh, I think that was the only way I survived it. Try again, release yourself. Oh, release you, you mean? Since then I've kind of wondered, geez, I wonder what the experience would have been like, would have been like for me if I really gave myself over to it. But I don't think it would have worked because it was just too much. I think this was kind of the only way to kind of survive it and be able to give a reality to each moment when it was required instead of kind of existing in something that would have been really rather exhausting to do 24-7 for a longer period of time. Yeah, fine, release me. Just say it. Just f***ing say it. Don't you swear at me, you little shit. Don't you ever raise your voice at me. I am your mother. I want them to be traumatized. I would think that's great, right? I mean, yeah. Ari said that one time, he's like, I just have all this sickness inside me and I want to put it into everybody else. And I was like, that <laughs> is awesome. <laughs> that's what he said to me, day one. I never like I think it's such a didactic thing to kind of tell audiences what they should expect because everybody comes to the cinema or any experience in life with their own experiences and so you relate to things differently. I mean, I hope that they understand that it isn't just like another horror film full of, you know, gratuitous scares. There is such a profound, beautiful story within this and it is very sad and very moving and it does become deeply shocking and, and upsetting. So it is a roller coaster, but it's an exciting new voice in cinema, making a film in a very original way, and that in itself is worth seeing the movie. But the content of the movie is also um, really, really special, um, and I think um, it'll excite people more than, and it seems to be, it excites people more than it intimidates them. I just don't want to put any more stress on my family. Thank <laughs> you.